What's up? You know what it is. Just wanted to do a vlog style uh, video for you guys to let you know what's been going on and why my videos are sorry. I haven't been very active. I've been more active, uh, you know, actually contacting people, hitting them up. But I haven't been doing many videos lately. Um, I've been doing a lot of vi uh, video responses lately, uh, mainly. I've been uh, planning on doing some uh, videos uh, about other things, but I'm not sure. Uh, but I will let you know a few opinions about what I'm th uh, some stuff I want to talk about. Um, I've reached the 200 mark of subscribers. I'm actually at 2,000. 2000. I wish I was at 2,000. 202. Uh, subscribers and I appreciate everybody that's uh, sub to my channel hopefully more people are active uh, because everybody knows that your subscriber count doesn't really matter it just matters who is primarily active um, you know I, I have 200 subscribers but most of my videos get new videos get like 30 views in the first two weeks or something like that which is fine. I'm not. I'm not. It's not like I'm. I don't like that at all. Of course I do. Um, I just wish that more people uh, watch uh, a lot more, more views and more comments were coming through. But uh, I appreciate everything. I know people have their lives. They gotta do what you gotta do. You know, as long as you thumb, you thumbs, if you like the video, thumbs it up. If you just like it, just thumbs it down. Uh, I'm not against any criticism, uh, just as long as you're not a troll. And, um, you know, it's good criticism, like, you know, positive criticism, something I can, uh, something that is able in my power to do to make my videos a little bit better for you guys. That's always a good thing. That's always something that I appreciate anybody if they do that. I don't, I don't know if you guys care, but uh, I'm thinking about doing a Q&A or I do my PS3 collection as it is now and the ones that I find you guys should you know at least spend some time with uh, let me know if you guys want to see that um, I'd say the PS3 collection will be a much more easier video for me to do the Q&A just depending if a lot of people want to give me questions because the last time I did the q and I, I think I got five questions or something like that which is enough I, I, I don't have to get more than I could if I get more than that I'll be happy um, but you know if you guys want to do either one of those just let me know um, that's my plan to uh, give back so um, yeah um, that's uh, also I want to talk about the. Uh, um, I'm, I'm planning on vacation soon, so you, you might not see many videos lately because of that. I mean, I can do videos when I'm on vacation. I mean, I could do like vlogs and beer reviews and uh, movie reviews. That's my plan. If I if I feel like doing any videos when I'm on vacation, because I'm gonna be way too busy. I don't not busy like busy per se like how I am now because you know when you're working that takes up most of your time. But uh, I'm not gonna be gaming that much. So if anyone wants to game in the last few weeks that I am still, you know, able to, because once I go on vacation, my brother doesn't have a PS3, so I can't get on the PS3, uh, PSN network, obviously. But I'm gonna be on on live, which is uh, some, a new experience. I don't know how that's gonna, if I'm gonna like it or not. But I'll, I'll be sure to give you my opinion um also uh i've been actually um planning uh pre-production on two music videos as a director i've been credited as producing cinematography most of the time and i've done some work on documentaries and uh, short uh short films and also uh not really short films actually, just documentaries and music videos. So I just want to get my my portfolio up 
more current so I can join another group of film, independent filmmakers and uh, see what, uh, if they can help me out, um, progress my career as a filmmaker because I haven't been having much success. I want to have a lot more success and I hope I do um, once I join this group. So uh, yeah, that's another thing that's going on. So that's why I, my videos have been lacking. And um, yeah, that's, a, that's all I can uh, tell you guys right now. Um, I will leave you, I will say some rants because I, I do want to say some rants. Why I've been, been why I've been updating my my videos now with more DVDs and Blu-rays, uh, but the problem is when your collection starts growing, and then you start lending movies to people, people either break your stuff, or they never give it back to you, which sucks. Because recently, someone broke one of my DVDs. He said he didn't break it. I believe him. He knows who he is, but. Now I gotta replace that. Um, then there's another person that remains nameless. Um, borrowed my movies and she is, uh, she's a friend, and it's it's being harder and harder to get it from her. So I'm assuming she may want to keep it, and I'm just gonna give it to her so I can just forget it, you know, and just replace it eventually. So yeah, that's a rant about <laughs> collecting and which what happens when you're collecting and then you got friends that wanna be stingy. Which kinda of pisses me off because I don't do it. I mean, I actually have a list of I know who borrows my stuff. I got a list, I know who has what. Um also I know what I borrowed from someone else. I have a list of that too. So I'm always checking that list. This the, the list is never not on my my uh, desktop. So I always know that stuff. I and then people assume I'm gonna forget because I am a forgettable person. That's why I actually have these these notes to remember. So you know it's funny when they do that because we got computers now, guys. I'm not gonna forget. Um, then, uh, the other rant I want to, uh, you know, about what I've been gaming, fighting games lately. This is the rant I want to, I want to get down to. I've been playing some more uh, Mortal Kombat, which is fun. Hell of fun. Love that game. One of the best fighting games this generation. And then Mortal, uh, and then Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Now that is where I'm getting, having a little frustration with. That game entails with anybody that knows how to juggle someone basically you get juggled throughout the game Mortal Kombat is the same thing they'll juggle I don't know why these two games are just that's the new style we're juggling fucking people so Street Fighter is way better because I, I, I have no idea how to juggle someone in that game and I rarely see people juggling people in that game so the Street Fighter games, of course, are, are a little bit more advanced when it comes down to skill. Because when, you, when you're a juggler, really what you're doing is just stopping the person from hitting you. Which is really a cheesy way of doing it, you know, because when you think about it, it doesn't take much skill to do that. You just have to memorize a couple of set moves. You got to know when to... You gotta know in a fight when to hit a person up in the air and then juggle. So as long as you can. Some people might say that's a skill. I personally think it's very annoying. It's, uh, oh, you're saying, well, you can't do that? Well, you suck. I would understand <laughs> if you say that I suck, but I can easily adapt to that. I can easily, um, I haven't done it yet. It takes a while, of course. It's not like something that opens overnight. For at least me, it doesn't. But I, I know I can, I can uh, adapt to it. It's just, fr it just frustrates me. It's like, what the fuck, man? Can can I just, can we just fight? Can we just fight and stop the bullshit? Stop the juggling. That's the shit that pisses me off. Can we? Can just two people just fight regularly? Because I know a friend of mine's 
when we both started playing Marvel vs. Capcom uh, 3 and we were learning the moves, we were just fighting. We were doing the juggling. We were doing the typical Marvel vs. Capcom 2 fighting because in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, you, I don't think you could really juggle in that game. But in the new games, juggling is the end thing to do. I don't know why, but that's what it is. And I don't find it as annoying in Mortal Kombat because I can I know I can get my way out of it very easily. It's just more frustrating in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 because basically if a person starts juggling you, you can't do anything. You basically you can't really do anything. Um, but I think I have more experience with online with Marvel vs. Capcom 3 than I have with Mortal Kombat. Only because I want to play people I know on Mortal Kombat. And in Marvel vs. Capcom 3, I don't really give a fuck. I just play whoever. Because I, I don't know that many people that own the game. I know more people that own uh, Marvel vs. I mean, uh, Mortal Kombat. So, uh, yeah, that's that's a little rant. I just, I don't know. This is pissing me off. I know you, it's the same thing with uh, fucking Blaze Blue. You juggle fast in that game if you know how to do it. Uh, it's not as, so much as, as Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and, and Mortal Kombat, obviously. But for some reason, the trend is to juggle people. I, it's pissing me off. I think, you see, in uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, when you play that game, it's, it's structured to, to be more technical. The, the, when you get someone in that, in that, in that a, a barrage of... of, of uh, kicks and punches is because you are timing it right your, your your skill is so tight that you know what to do at what time and you're not juggling a person a person can get out of that and you know come back that's the same thing you know they added a little thing here and there in Mortal Kombat and, and Marvel vs. Capcom 3 to defer that because I know you can do a, a combo breaker in both but it's just i don't know i think it's really unbalanced when it comes to that that's the only gripe i have with those fighting games and that's the rant i wanted just to say out so like i said leave a comment about what you want about my 200 su subscriber special and um yeah that's about it uh, i'll see you guys later